What's up, YouTube? What is good? Today is one of my other, another big days. Proud of my 17 year old daughter. My 17 year old daughter, China, graduating. I gotta adjust this thing. She finally graduating from high school. Graduating from high school. Happy. I am so happy. Is it over? Yes. Now it's college. And directly on the back. As you can see, I got my military dress uniform in the back. It's gonna be hot today, so I gotta I gotta switch this to the short sleeve shirt, which is I should have I should have just bought an extra set of medals and pins and stuff to put on a short sleeve shirt so I don't worry about taking the medals off the uh, off the jacket. But eventually I gotta send the jacket in to get dry cleaned. Man. You know what I'm saying shit's real. You know this is a video pertaining to real fathers, real men. Who took in kids as their own? It's not about sipping or anything else like that. If a if a woman accuses you for being, oh, you're the father, but you've been in this child's life since the time, you know, she was three years old. She looks a little lighter than you. She don't have none of your features, but she pretty much grew on you. And the only person that she knows as a father is you. When you get the DNA test, you be like, wow, she's not really my child. She has my last name and everything, but she's not really my baby. Nah, nah, I'm not. I'm like, I'm mad at the mother. If you knew who the other father was, how come you didn't bring him? How come you did not bring him into the picture by the time the baby was born? No, she didn't want that. She wanted the man that had the job and stable after she hit the wall. This is her first child and she hit the wall. Slightly hit the wall. But then again, she was... She was struggling. So now, 18 years later, my daughter is graduating high school. Finally graduating high school. Proud. Now she's going to college. She may go to a trade school, but I support her and her decisions of whatever she wants to do. And I also guide her. I also guide her all the way through. So, so it's all fucking good. I mean, now if these women calling you like, "Oh, you's a sucker," "Oh, I don't know why you doing that for," I would not let another man take care of my kids and stuff, even though it's not their, you know, what I'm saying it's not their kids and shit like that. Bullshit. They too will hit the wall and it'd be like, my kid's fathers, my kid father or fathers ain't shit. He don't take a responsibility. He's not helping me out. All he does is go out and hang out with his friends on the corner and play video games all day. But I've been wondering, what if, where the hell does he get the money to get the newest iPhone? Or get the newest pair of J's, the newest, the newest pair of uh, LeBron James, you know what I'm saying, or the newest KDs, you know what I'm saying, and the newest clothes that's out, you know, I'm like, where the fuck did he get the money to get this shit? Even the hover wheel, which is I call it a unicycle without the pedals. 
and you're like, damn. But you went, but when you find a good man, he already, you know, single father doing his thing, put his kids through college and shit like that, you're like, damn, I need to get this guy because he's nice to my kids and he spoiled his kids, even though two of them is his and one isn't, but he spoils his kids. He treats his kids just the same as as all the rest of his kids. Sorry for the shaking. Fucking getting off the GW. Shit's fucked up. Shit's always bouncing. I'm not taking the west side of the highway. Fuck that. Just getting to work. You know. So. There you have it. Damn, it's always traffic on this motherfucker. So, it's like, man, I'm proud. Miss Janelle Gamp, yes, I'm blowing you up. I'm putting you on blast. You, my dear, so-called baby mother, you're the one who accused me saying that I was my daughter's father. I was the father. I stepped up to the plate. How my father raised me was, if someone accused you of doing something, be responsible. And I am being responsible. You know, until the baby's born. Then get a DNA test. Alright, Miss Janelle Gamble, what you put your kids through is fucking hell. You choose a man over your own family. You choose a man over your own kids. You let that man abuse your kids. All because of what? Love? All because of what? He's supporting you with, with a good source of weed get you all the dime bags you want because <laughs> that's all you want to do is smoke and get high and that's what happens when you want to choose a man over your own family and your own family you said fuck you then that's what you want so be it keep it moving and now you're mad at your daughter all because you trying to take the credit of, oh, if it wasn't because of me, she wouldn't have, you know, she wouldn't have an iPhone. i like, nah, bitch, that was me. She got her iPhone. Oh, if it wasn't because of her, i mean, like, because of her of what? I was there for my daughter and her brother at parents teachers night. Even though her brother is not my son. I took him in as my own because his father is also one of those, you know, one of those fuck niggas <clears throat> living off his parents' wealth, but I want to take care of his kid or kids that I don't know wherever they may be. So this chick when they got married to a fucking dude got converted come an Israelite or something or Hebrew I mean hey I, I gotta respect them and shit uh, you know it is what it is I mean teach his own and and it's like after she had a, after she had her third kid a son by this dude this dude went got sent away got locked up and she's talking about she's doing this and that and all the others, all this other shit. But you got a fucking record. You talking about you teaching at a fucking school? What school's gonna hire somebody that has a criminal background? What school is this that you're gonna be working off the books? You know. And. I'm like, man, this bitch is giving up a story. I say, I work hard for my shit. House. 
I own it. My car, I own it. My truck, I own it. Credit cards, no debt. All me. My credit's good. My credit's like damn it was 750. Between 750 and 780, but it you know with child support on my credit on my credit report it's good it helps out my credit report because there's no debt behind it everything's paid on time you know that child support will end soon it's going to take some time but it will end because I gotta go blow somebody up in Georgia Miss Nakia Bird put me through this shit and now you fuck yourself over preventing me from seeing my son why you women do that shit same thing with Miss Janelle Gamble you fat bitch sloppy all around starting some shit with your own family all of a sudden now your whole family got an order of protection against you which is you can't you're, you can't really do shit and you gave up your parental rights to see your own kids. Not even to come see your own daughter graduate from high school. You know, I took that role of being a father to both of your kids, to your son as well. I'm making sure that he's going to get through high school in the next two years. I'm going to be there to help him out with with his prom and stuff. You know? I'm going to do the same thing for my son if his mother will let me see him and actually let me get custody of him. But I have to do a lot of fighting. You know? I'm a proud father. I love my daughter, China. Me and her, me and my daughter is like close. We're real close to each other. Like father daughter relationship type thing. Same thing with my oldest daughter. She graduated out of Howard University. I'm proud of her too. Now she's starting to get in, in, her, in a field of getting her career off the ground. <laughs> proud of her. I'm saying it's a lot of work into it but you know it's something that a man must do to make sure his kids succeed and be better than him God damn these Dominican women got some got some uh, asses on them shit Woo. I'm gonna start doing some the booty budget Thanks. Uh, I'm saying prodigy of Mr. Christopher Smith of the, of the League of Dads channel. Definitely check him out as well. You know, check out the Roland Martin channel. So, yeah, I got to sign off. I'm supposed to kept these videos about like eight minutes, but it's already going on to 13 minutes. It's all good. So, yo. I'm Ricky Tice, aka Sergeant Tyson, and I will check y'all later. And shit, you know, like, share, subscribe. Oh, I ain't the number one YouTube channel, but I am the dude from New York City that encourages people to watch when they see us, and also watch the Oprah. Uh, also, another one that I also saw last night on on uh, Netflix was When They See Us Now by Oprah. Awesome. Loved it. Fucking awesome. Definitely watch that. Because during this... Damn, I saw a fucking mic scene walking right by me. I'm like, oh shit. Anyways, yeah, definitely watch that because the Central Park 5 thing... When that happened, I was 13 years old. When that happened, I was in 
I was like, I was in junior high school. I was like, that could have been me. That could have been one of my friends. That could have been one of my other friends. When they, when these, uh, when those cops started picking off kids off the street and shit. Not just in Manhattan. They did it everywhere. Bronx, Queens, Brooklyn, parts of Staten Island. You know, Shaolin. And shit. Just picking them off the streets, man. <coughs> it's real out there. So, yo, be safe. I'm going to come back again. I'm going to start doing the, bougie, the booty budget of New York City. I'm going with the black, whites, Hispanics, and shit. Why is the booty so important to these women that they have to go out to another country to get the shit done? And they come back a week week later, or two weeks later, look like a brand new person with repercussions. They may follow along with it. Peace.